Jerome, we've heard obviously good things about your covered skills and saw it, you know, in a major program. Uh, do you feel that it, you're shortchanged at all in terms of maybe some people thinking, well, that's what you're good at, but is your feeling that I can also be a first and second down run thumper if I need to be? So does that shortchange you in terms of being known to be good in coverage? Um, that's just one of my strengths. Uh, I have a lot of strengths. I a lot of things I get better at, so um, it's, it's all good to me. I'm just going to go out there and just perform every down. How are you as a run stopper, do you think? I'm good, but it's always room for improvement, that's for sure. Do you think people make too much about your size? What you say? Do you think people make too much about your size, especially in the draft process? Uh, it's been like that my whole life, um, so I'm cool with it. I just know, you know, when the time is on the line, the game is on the line, I can make the play. So, so even, in high, even in high school, people were talking about your size? Yeah, so I'm used to it. What were they saying? Same thing they say now, too small, but uh, I could play ball, that's for sure. So it seems like all of your best games in college were against Michigan, Oklahoma, like the really big name opponents. What was it about those games that brought out the best in you? Um, I don't know about you guys, but I was taught uh, the best players, you know, shine the biggest game. So, um, you know, I just try to do my best, and it just so happens the big games is where I perform best. If anyone ever doubted your ability as a three down backer, um, you know, what, what games would you tell them to, to turn on so to prove them otherwise? Uh, just watch me every game. Uh, I just go out there and just do what I do. Um, and, and that's pretty much, much it for me. Um, there's a lot of talking and all that, but you know, when it's time to play, that's what I, that's what I do. Just play. Have you seen Rayquan yet? Yeah, I said what I told him. He uh, made fun of me a few times. What is that? What's it been like to kind of reconnect with him? Uh, it's, it's cool. Um, see a familiar face. There's a lot of new faces, so it was cool to see him. So what do you want to accomplish? What What is it that you want to get out of? Let's start small this weekend. Um, just learn as much as I can. I'm learning the building, learning the playbook, um, learn faces. That's much. That's all I'm looking forward to this weekend is just learning. When you saw the playbook the first time, uh, or the tablet, whatever, you thought what? Better get to work. Um, <laughs> and that, that's it. It, it was it was cool just to see a different you know playbook. I've been around Ohio State for a while, so um, just to see a different one. It was fun and. And you got that different energy of I'm willing to learn, I'm ready to learn. Um, so it was definitely fun. Wouldn't you have meshed up directly with Gasicki quite a bit? Uh, yeah. Okay. So like how many, how many of the games during your time there were you specifically matched up with him? And what, what can you tell us, what do you remember from those matchups? Uh, I can't remember exact times, how many, uh, but he's a great player. Uh, that, that, that's all it is to that. He's a great player and uh, definitely going to compete. What was difficult about those? Or what were, what were the challenges, or how do you feel like they went overall, you know, you and him battling head to head? Uh, individually? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you'll say he's, you won. Yeah, he, say yeah he, he's whatever. big. He's, you know, he can definitely go get the ball and all that. His routes are good. Uh, but I look at the team aspect, you know, he got me one year and I got him the last. So, uh, you know, this league is about what you've done for me lately and I got the win. So, that's it's for sure. It's obviously a challenge for linebackers to keep up with fleet-footed running backs. What made you effective doing that? Um, learning tendencies, um, pretty much just stay in the playbook and um, field work. Um, and your you know, physical st skills is going to catch up to it. So um, that's what makes me you know, effective. After the draft, uh, or after you were selected, rather, Chris Greer, he mentioned just how fast you were. And then uh, they mentioned your, your time at the combine and said, I don't know what he ate that day. I don't know what happened, but he's going to be way faster than um, you know, what, what happened at the combine and maybe why the times wasn't, you know, um, kind of I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, uh, but I just know when it's time to play, I'm fast. Uh, and it's the difference between, you know, clock speed and game speed. So uh, I didn't get the time I wanted, but on film and on tape, all that, and I run fast. So. What was the time that you wanted and maybe what uh, the time? Combine, I wanted to break the record. Uh, it was... The four, four, one, or something like that. I uh, didn't get it, but it's all good. Jerome, what did it mean to you to, to be an Ohio State linebacker? You, you guys have a story history, and was there was there pressure, and how did you deal with that pressure if it existed? Uh, not pressure. It's a, a standard. Um, you know, our linebackers is known to you know be great linebackers. So I just wanted to uphold that standard, and um, now the the real task is here now. So definitely excited. 
Has so Pastor you told you uh, where you're going to start out? Will you do only weak side, or does he want you to learn multiple spots? Uh, no, just just learn the defense. Uh, that, that's what you know. I'm getting started to do. So uh. when you say people have always given you or overlooked you maybe because of your size all the way back to high school, is it something that you hear about on the field? Is it something that opposing players will trash talk you about during games? No, if you ask anybody to play against me, they don't mention my size at all. Um, you know, it's, it's hard looking outside in. So on the field, I, I do my job. That's that's all I can do. Is there ever a coach or anything, even back to high school, that told you you're too small to play this position or that or, or do whatever it is that you wanted to do? Uh, it, it's been the same. Just, you know, guys say it, but once I actually play against you, you you really don't, don't even notice how small or big I am. So it's all good. Um, different places, you know, I was asked to do a lot of different things at Ohio State. Um, so when people say you wasn't big on shedding, um, a lot of times I was asked to do a lot of different things that wasn't usual just because of my speed. So, uh, but, you know, people don't know that inside the, the you only got to be in the room to know that. So um, that was a little secret, I guess you say that. But, um, you know, I can do it all. That, that's pretty much all I can do. So it's not about more so whether or not you can do it. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm one of those guys. Whatever you ask me to do, I'm going to do it. I'm do it the best of my ability. And, uh, so, yeah. When you talk to Ray Clark, what did he tell you was the toughest part about making that transition from the college game to the NFL? He, he just said take one day at a time, um, learn one insult at a time, and, uh, and just have fun. Um, he said I got to this point just because I can play football. So that's all you have to do is just you know, focus on that. So. Is there been any part of this experience that was surreal to you like when you walked in the building or when you sat down with somebody or a particular player you might have seen around the facility? Uh, you were just kind of like, wow, this is really happening? As soon as I got off the plane, I looked around. I was like, all right, this is warm. I'm not used to this time of the year. Uh, I'm you know, away from home. So that's when it finally hit me. When I got off that plane, that was, that was time to get to work. This is warm to you? This is warm. It's freezing up where I'm from. Uh, this, this, this ain't warm. Yeah, this, is, this is been kind of mild. Yeah. Well, this is uh, great weather to me, that's for sure. Who, who were the leaders of the Ohio State defense? Uh, we had so many great leaders. Um, you know, different rooms had different leaders. That's what made it unique. Me and Worley pretty much led the linebackers. Um, the D-line, it was so many of those guys. From Sam, Taekwon, uh, Jay. I'm not going to name them because then they're going to see it. So I'm just going to say the D-line was awesome. Uh, the safeties, you know, we had E. Smith, uh, Dame Webb, uh, the corners, and Zell. So it, it was so many guys that, you know, we did that uh, four units coming together as one. Um, so. so did you have any problem stepping up at a time of adversity when, you, when things were not going great, like on the field? Mm -hmm. Were you one of the guys that, you know, yeah, so uh, I, I don't say I'm a vocal leader. Or I don't say I'm a leader just um, quiet and don't say anything. I'm kind of in between. I see how the um, the problem or how things are going, and I kind of step into that road, what I have to do. So uh, I can't say I'm one or the other. I'm more of a mix of in between. What NFL player would you say about your game after? Uh, I was a big fan of uh, Shazier. Um, that, that was the one player I seen him uh, my junior year. I was being recruited by Ohio State. He played Indiana, freezing cold, and uh, he had like 20 some tackles. And that's when I uh, became a big fan of Shazier. Were you watching when he got injured? I wasn't watching that game, um, but I've seen the, the clip. Um, and it's unfortunate, but it's a part of the game, so he's definitely going to come back strong. So. You saw him at the draft? Uh, when he walked out, I saw him at the draft, yeah. Um, what are you uh, it just shows how strong he is. Uh, he's, he's never going to quit. Um, I talked to him a little bit after the spring game. Um, he's just one of those guys. He's never going to quit, that's for sure. What did you say to him? Uh, I don't really remember. <laughs> I was just so excited to see him, and uh, it was pretty cool just to see one of the guys you look up to. So it was all good. What about, it? <clears throat> what about his game do you think you do as well or close to like uh, the, uh His speed, his... Uh, just this attack mindset, um, pretty much everything. Uh, you know, guy, when he came out of college, saying the same thing, he was too small. 
um, he just performed every Sunday. So um, that's what I pretty much try to do.